Aaron and I have been best friends for years, but lately, it seems like he's avoiding me. Aaron was a great student, smart and resourceful, but then he started to change. Growing up, Aaron was organized and happy-go-lucky. At first, we just thought his messiness was normal teenage stuff. When Aaron first came to see me, he talked about how his friends, teachers, and parents noticed that he seemed different. He thought he might be depressed, feeling sad, irritable, and not finding joy in things he used to. When I do see Aaron, he seems distracted and different, answering questions I didn't even ask. He even stopped playing video games because he thinks someone is monitoring him when he plays. Lately, Aaron doesn't pay attention in class, and his assignments aren't done. What he does turn in rambles about amazing ideas he can't reveal because someone might steal them. Aaron stopped showering and only sleeps a few hours at a time. He stopped eating because he thought something might be in his food. When we ask him what's wrong, he gets angry and upset. Aaron talked about difficulty organizing his thoughts, concerns about being followed, and having moments of intense and exciting ideas, and I started to consider another possible cause. About 3% of all people experience psychosis at some point in their lives. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, approximately 100,000 U.S. adolescents and young adults experience first episode psychosis every year. Aaron's behavior and thoughts are impacting his ability to function at school and interact with family and friends. Plus, he's the right age to experience first episode psychosis. The peak onset or first episode of psychosis typically occurs between the ages of 15 and 25. Research shows that receiving treatment as early as possible after psychosis symptoms appear offers the greatest benefits, especially during the first year or critical period. Early identification and intervention can create positive outcomes with fewer disruptions to work and school, retention of social skills and support, decreased hospitalization, faster recovery, better prognosis, reduce family disruption and distress, less treatment resistance, and a lower risk of relapse. Early treatment also reduces secondary problems that can occur after prolonged periods of illness, such as unemployment, substance abuse, depression, and self-harm, among others. Under a block grant through the North Dakota Department of Human Services, Prairie St. John's, in cooperation with Community Options, has implemented a first-episode psychosis program geared toward identifying and treating psychosis early. This coordinated specialty care program utilizes Navigate, a SAMHSA-approved option for early psychosis. A comprehensive, evidence-based program, Navigate provides early and effective treatment to individuals who have experienced a first episode of psychosis. Components of the program include individual resiliency training, family education, medication management, case management, and supported education and employment services. My first episode of psychosis was scary. I didn't know what was going on or who I could trust. But luckily my family and I got help at Prairie St. John's. Now I'm doing well at school, working part-time, and thinking about my future, but I don't have to do it alone. For more information or to make a referral, contact Prairie St. John's.